Wishing you a happy new year from Voice for Youth Against Violence, Media. Why do young people join the streets? I think young people join the streets because they ain't got guidance. They ain't, they ain't got the they ain't got the guidance to show them the right path. You know what I'm saying? I think I think they choose this put the the road life path because they may not have the right guidance, they might they may not have like what everyone else has, you get what I'm saying? They may they may not live the the luxury life that some of us, some some young other kids get to get to live, you get me? Like could be because of trouble at home, family issues, could be because of getting bullied, you get me? Could, could be because of people just trying rubbish. Like, yeah, but like, that's what I feel these kids when they hit the road, like, that's, that would be most likely their, their choice, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's more or less, for a re- that's more or less a reason for why youths that are young hit roads. Otherwise, for what reason, unless, I don't know, you ain't getting enough money, or you, know, you ain't getting good clothes, you know, you get what I'm saying? You wanna start chopping, you wanna start shutting, and then from shutting, they're getting moved to, so they're gonna start, you get me, fighting, then it becomes post cold wars again, you get me, so there's no shanking, no killing, but it gets like that. I think that's what they like, and get me. That's that's what that's what they're influenced by. That's what they like, so that's what they're gonna wanna do. Get me. It's not it's not a life that some people for some people it's not even a life that they choose. For some people their life is evolved around that and it's like that because of how their life has been for any reason, God knows what. Do you know what I'm saying? For any reason, doesn't really matter what reason. But yeah, that's the reason why I think Yusuf today would jump on the roads. Why did you end up on the streets? What are some of the reasons why you yourself ended up in the streets? I ended up on these streets because... Uh, uh, cool. I ended up on these streets because... I, 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 I had problems in school, you get me? That's what it started off as. Secondary school, year seven, you got what, year ten, thinking that they could bully me. Yeah, me, I said, fuck that. And I started carrying my mummy's kitchen, you get me? That's a real shit, you know what I'm saying? I started carrying out mummy's kitchen, doing what I had to do, anyone trying to move to me, you know, fuck out my shell. Get me, show, that, show them that I ain't scared, you get me? I refuse, I refuse to get bullied any longer, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna let any man feel that they're above me yet, or they can have any control over me. You know what I'm saying? So I made sure, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna carry around my shank. And anyone that tries it, they're gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Cause if I know you're a fire, professional fighter, I ain't no professional fighter. Me, I'm a street fighter, you get me? Like, I love using my fist, yeah? But most time nowadays, it's about shanks, I know this, I'm done, I know that. You get me? So all right, cool, man, I had to roll, you get me, roll my shank, fam, that's what it was. You get me, anytime I had beef, fuck out my shank. If I didn't have beef, I mean, if I had beef, didn't have my shank, fuck it. Beat my fist, you get me. And that's what made me the person I am today, I'll be real, you get me. It's the life that I chose, but it's not the life that I chose. It's the life that I actually accepted, because that, that life there chose me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but getting bullied wasn't the one for me. You know, the showman he's really boss. At the showman, no one can touch me. I'm a king fan. My skin's made of gold. Get me? They ain't no one above me. Because no one's superior to me. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't let him out slide. I wouldn't let him people be little me. Get me? I'm not a person that could be belittled. You get me? I'm a guy that's a king, I'm a leader, I'm, you get me, I ain't no follower. I make sure I set trends. You get me? I do my thing and I get my job done. I chose this life, I accepted this life because this life chose me and I love it. But yeah, that's what made me jump on these roads. And obviously, actually also, not having enough money, not, not getting the clothes that I was seeing anyone else rocking. 
you know, I was thinking, I was feeling, yeah, I'm left back. So I wanted to start shutting, I wanted to get my arm on. But then time day, I couldn't work again. Couldn't go and get a legit, a legitimate job. So I said, yeah, go for it, let me jump on these roads. I ain't got nothing better to do. Yeah, I've got beef anyway, and I know I can buy my beef. So fuck it, might as well jump on this road, do my thing, get my money up. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yes, like that, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? If it's not, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for me doing what I had to do, I wouldn't even be able to that uh, walk out and roll with crepes on me, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even be able to go over with my jacket and roll out in the cold weather. I'll be rolling out with like three, four jackets on, getting me freezing up my arse still. I mean, three, four jumpers, I'm still freezing up my arse, but thinking, feeling like I'm in particle. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how it is in life, bro. That's what made, this is what made me jump on road. This is what made me join this road, road team. You know? God, people think, it was people thinking that they could bully me, belittle me. They're thinking that they're the dominant one. But that's what made me think, yeah, it's time for me to jump on road. What what was it like losing a friend to the streets in terms of a friend being killed? I'd be wrong. Because like, three of my friends even died last year, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's all been kind of the madness. Like, my friend's dying, it's, 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 it's hard to get me. It ain't easy, it's not an easy thing to deal with. Again, oh, it's not like it's just any other random person that you don't even know. It's someone that's close to you. Yeah, I mean, someone that you've got that different sort of love with. Someone that's like family more than a friend. You get me? Like for them to go and die or because of this beef or whatever. Like it hurts, you know. It, like it kills you inside. You didn't know, know what to like me, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know. Like, I was thinking fuck. All I have to think about is a guy that's dead like. All I was thinking was, well, I don't know about that, man. That's my adventure, man. That's my family there, man. I put it on my life that anyone that's part of my family will get them from if I ever found out. Oh, that's, 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 that's near enough bloodline to me. Any of my guys got touch and blood in my place, in my family. Give me, I got a lot of love for my guys. They've got a lot of love for me and I show the same respect that they show me. I can't never hear that my friends got stopped and died and what I did, man. Like, every nigga that's ever got stopped, any of my niggas that's ever died, like, man shed them tears. Yeah, man shed them tears, them real tears, boy. Yeah, any of my guys are here in hospital and I shed tears. I'm not saying they're the real things, but they're my guys. I don't want to hear that they did or they died. But there's something wrong with them. You know, that's what makes me go leave. That's what makes me feel that like shit. That's what makes me feel that like love. I'm really going to leave my guys. Like, you're really going to die on me. Like. I've, I've called up with this guy. Like. I've done half of shit with this guy. I've been through bad, bad madness or bad good shit with this guy. Like. Like, man, I, man had a future plan, he had a future We both had a future plan with each other, like. To, 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 for them to just hear, like, yeah, your boy's dying, your boy's dead. Uh, and you say that's a bitch, but you can't really say that's a bitch when it's your boy dead or dying. But uh, it becomes a different, that becomes a different sort of type of meaning. Everything that you think of, everything that you do, you don't, you think of it before that you even dead, car. When your friend dies, it's like, car, that you think you deep, you deep life so hard. You, deep, you sit down and actually deep life so hard, sometimes you don't want to talk to no one, but like. God knows how long that can be for. You get me? That can be for two, three years. It might be here for the rest of your life. You can slip and lose yourself just because your friend was dead. 
and buy and try slip, I mean, you can just think, fuck life. I don't want to do nothing. Fuck life, fuck it. No point of doing anything. I just lay here. Fuck it, fuck life, like, fuck doing anything. What's the point? Yeah, me. But that's all up in your brain. That's your brain mentality. It's how you can slip like that and be fucked life and fuck this and fuck that and not give a fuck about life anymore and anything else for that matter. Or you can be like, cool, I'll be my guy. Yeah, me, that was my guy. Like, that was my Cody, that was my ride of that. Or whoever that person was to you, get me. I'll be there, I'm gonna try to make a better person of me. Just that we can't. Yeah, me. I'm, I'm gonna get to this level just like we, just like we said we would. Yeah, me. And it gets like that. Do you think things will ever get better on the streets? No. I don't think things will ever get better on the streets. There's always going to be war. There's always going to be guns. There's always going to be violence. There's always going to be some bullshit, to be honest. The government, the government is fucked up as it is already. The street, the streets, <laughs> it's even worse. You can't even step outside without always being cautious. You always have to be cautious. You can never step out your, your, your house and be like, yeah, I can go anywhere. I feel perfectly fine. And you don't have to look over your shoulder, you don't have to worry about, oh, look at them or looking at me or whatever. You don't have to worry about nothing. Yeah. Well, that's, the, that's how the streets, that's how the streets stay. Yeah. Drugs, gangs, violence, war, money, that's, 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 that's all the same, bro. It's never gonna change, it's never gonna get better. That's, that's the end of it, to be honest. Like, you ever think it's going to get better really and truly? Like, it, just, it gets worse every year. Like, there's nothing anyone's doing to stop it. But, they, but yet they know what's happening and how worse it's going to get. But some people don't even see it. Some people don't see it like that. Some people are fucking. I'm gonna do this cause I wanna do this. Or I'm gonna do this cause I'm bad. Or I'm gonna do this cause my nigga the dead. Fuck it, come let's go move to this one, let's go do this, let's go do that. The world will never be safe for no one. The world ain't safe let alone these streets. The world's mad. You find a lot of mad crazy people on this planet, bro. I can tell you that for sure. London's crazy alone. London shoot something, yeah. Chat shit to the wrong person, no, you lose your life quick. You know I mean? And it doesn't even matter what age you are. You could be 10 and lose your fucking life. You could be 65, 80, 10, 40. No, no, okay. They feel that they want to take your life, they're going to take your life. That's how the street goes. You stop someone. They're gonna come back on you. You get me repercussions. That's how it is. It's repercussions. Every, every action has a reaction. You can't pick and choose. Oh yeah, today I'm gonna beat this one. Or today I'm gonna go beat that one. Car. She said you can go do that one day and it will backfire you. Cause that's how the streets get. The streets are greedy like that. It can backfire you, you can lose your life, you can lose a limb. You can lose your, you can lose, you can go blind, you can get 90 degree burns, acid in your face. No one don't give a fuck on these streets, man. These streets are cold, and they're gonna stay cold. <laughs>